Welcome back to Breaking Point in F1 2021. Oh, it's the Dutch Grand Prix. Mechanical failures and team strat strategy frustrations have impacted Ackerman's early races this season. With the grid now heading to Sandvoort in Ackerman's native country of the Netherlands, he hopes that a return home will be a Pan yeah. Pan I have no I've never seen that word before. <laughs> to his recent struggles. The return of the Dutch Grand Prix. Sanford is back! It was last year's game, but it wasn't in the season. <laughs> Although Sanford may seem new to the younger Younger F1 fans out there, but in fact, it contrib <laughs> it contributed to over 30 years of Formula One history, from 1948 to 1985. Situated in the dunes of the Holland North Sea coastline, just west of Amsterdam, Dutch fans have been delighted to see Sandwort make a return. It's pretty much only because of Max, in his a in its absence from F1. From the F1 career, the track has been extensively modified, and I haven't driven it myself. But the new pits have been built, and look out for the final turn now redesigned with some pretty steep banking. At 18%, <laughs> the banking of the Arle Le Chirbox, yeah, um, corner named after the Dutch driver. It, <laughs> it's said to be twice as steep as the banking at Indy? Really? What the heck? Zoe! Zoe? Daddy! Hey! Hey, Lils! What have you been doing today? I drew a picture. Yeah? What's it a picture of? It's a secret. Okay. Well, maybe you'll show it to me later. Maybe. Will you win today, Daddy? I hope so, Lils. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's the question? Who's your favorite racing driver? You are. Aww. Ah, just checking. Can I speak to Mommy now? No. Okay. No. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Bye, Lily. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Devon, love the Netherlands, love the Dutch Grand Prix, looking forward to a good race. Team Haas. Ackerman at Sandvoort, I got tickets, Casper. We're cheering on every step of the way. Tip an Ackerman to have a good race today, call it a hunch. <laughs> Dutch Grumpy or Bust for Ackerman. He's too old. Mm -hmm. uh, good reason why I'm re good thing I'm retiring then. Sandward is narrow, full of elevation change, and has some extremely steep camber, particularly around the final corner. Look out for turn 11. It's quite blind and very tight. Miss your breaking point there, and you will lose a lot of time in the runoff. When you need to get the pass done, follow as closely as you can through the final turn and make it as good use of your overtake button. Uh, Lois, Casper, the, that interview you did with Morgan West has gone out. He can be a little bit tricky when he wants to be, but as you, but you did a great job. Think you came across really well. Lots of people, lots of talk about you and Verstappen this weekend, and the local press especially. Whatever the result, be as gracious as you can uh, as you can about it, and you can't go wrong. Zoe Ackerman, hey, hey. I know you like to keep on top of your email, so I figured I'll leave you a little good luck message. Oh, that's cute. Enjoy it out there today, Cass. It'll be great to have you home tonight. It will, If it goes well, we can celebrate. If it doesn't, well, home is the best place to be. Either way, I can't wait. Love. Zoe Ackerman. So that's our wife, I guess. 
race day. With family in the crowd, Casper Ackerman looks to the familiar track to turn around his fortunes. The full race. Hello and welcome to Zandvoort for another round of Formula One action. I hope we actually get Zandvoort this year. I like the track. It, I like driving. Corners, it's fun. To the right and four to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout a 2.6 mile lap. And so 11 12 is kind of hard if there's one thing you can guarantee it's the incredible atmosphere these dutch fans provide the sea of orange shirts as much a part of the grand prix as the track itself casper Verstappen, always a home favorite but in the midfield all eyes on alpha tauri's casper ackerman he'll be looking to turn around a poor patch of form what better time to do it than here in front of his home crowd Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen. Max a pole as at home race. Awesome. Alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris. Norris P3. Sergio Perez and Bottas. Sainz. Ackerman. Ackerman. Hey. Daniel Ricciardo. Stroll. Jackson. Top of the midfield, I guess. Or sort of are. Well... Mick Schumacher. No. <laughs> <George> Russell, <laughs> <and> <laughs> oh, the and Nicholas Latifi. Butler sucks. So. Away, oh, Butler doesn't suck. It's this car. Because there's one way to. The crowd's all behind you today, Cass. Let's use that momentum and see what you can do out there. 18 laps. I want to change one thing if I can. I I turned ABS off, but I want to kind of turn it on for now. What the hell was Leclerc doing there? It's signs. Oh, <laughs> Robin's racing, I guess. I have to actually focus. It's not really that easy to pass here. It's not that easy to pass, and I passed two people within like a corner. Brilliant. Nice move. That corner can be pretty tricky. Die bomb signs. I I 
I'm fine with that one. We've gained one position from where we started. Now they're fairly slow here. I feel like I have to really push. I guess that's what happens when you really push. Just kind of glad I just stayed in it. I feel like this DRS zone, it's so pointless. Because it's really short. That's definitely not a fastest lap. Has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. We're catching Baltas on the car. Sort of getting used to the track again, so that's probably why we're just starting to get faster, but dirty air just ruins us there. I'm sure if we can even get one. Apparently we can. If I just almost take out Bottas, we could take him. <laughs> that was we had so much more speed than Leclerc. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. We were sort of slow in sector two. Now I think we kind of have to. Yeah, that corner is not a strong suit for this car. I feel like we just have to not use much ERS so we actually have some. You really don't want to hit the curbs on the in on the left hand side there. Well, the left hand and the first ride after the DR zone. They're kinda of tall, kinda of upset the car. That was even faster. You're increasing the gap to the car behind. I didn't even few seconds per lap. Keep this up. I didn't even use the RS that lap pretty much. I guess the track just getting more rubber in and I'm pushing. This used to be like almost a lift in the last game. Well, this thing pushes a lot off throttle. I 
You don't want to hit the curb too hard on the right or the left hand. You can use the cur exit curb on the right hand side there. Also the curb on the right hand side there is pretty tall. But the left hand you could use again. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the soft. I like, I really like Sandboard. It was like one of my favorite tracks to race on in F1 2020. It's like the elevation change. It's just really fun. I like all the bankings and camber to corners. It's, it's a lot of fun. Verstappen got his older countrymen behind him, locking up from all the pressure. <laughs> oh, the AI sucks in that last corner, but they're pretty quick everywhere else. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. They're like really quick everywhere else. I need to get him out of DRS range. You don't want to run on the curb for too long like I did. Because that slows you down. Now we're looking, we're boxing this, boxing this lap. The best in lap you can. Gap to teammate behind is 19.2 seconds. I feel like it works better to break a bit more and just get on throttle a bit earlier. I feel like it works better in that corner. I don't know if it's that much faster, but it feels better. I should pretty much just stay in fourth there, but... I'm not really that great at pit exits. Release, release. That's a slow stop. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Don't cross, don't cross. Looks like Max actually pitted as well.
Yeah, Max and Hamilton pitted. Technically, the lap, ar lap around Sandbor only takes about as long as a lap around Spielberg. It just, this just feels like a longer track because there's way more corners. Is it, I don't, yeah, it should have more corners than Rebel Ring. Team out on the pits. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Let's hope we actually can just have a good race. I feel like that was a decent lap. That was the fastest lap I guess that was a decent lap. One and a half seconds faster. It is a bit longer than Sand War. It's a bit longer than Sandboard. I'm in Spielberg. It's like 10 seconds ish. <laughs> On the edge! <laughs> Stays in second. That would be a really good day for Holland. We're leading our teammate by thirty two point three seconds. If you're more laps. We have five laps of fuel remaining. We have like used a little bit of our axis. I've got like half a lap. Above. I'm not really, really lifting and coasting and stuff. Just got maximum attack. I did actually get on portal there a lot earlier, but I don't feel like I could. At least not there, because the car just pushed.
That's the opposite of pushing. That's oversteering. Well, it's oversteering on throttle, which is either called power sliding or drifting. Depend on who you ask. Four laps of fuel remaining. I love that corner, it's so much fun. I love this section. It's not really that fun in that that corner is not really that fun in this car, but in a rebel or something with a lot more downforce. I think that right hander down the hill would be a lot of fun. I was almost faster. So I cleaned up my sector two a little bit. That could have been a really good lap. I need a lot more front down force in that corner. Or just a softer front end, maybe. Who's that? Latifi? Pass Latifi. I think that's the first time we actually lapped someone. It's only because this track's so short. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Yeah, that's fine. Our front tires are starting to die. I can feel that. There's so many just hard left, hard right handers. Final lap, final lap of the race. Apparently it's F1 qualifying right now. Gap to teammate behind is 48.9 seconds. So, I actually have to end the video then. I guess it'll be a shorter one. Well, it's still gonna be like over 20 minutes.
Yeah, like that that didn't happen. That didn't happen. You didn't you just didn't see anything. Is that Dio? Is that Dio or Reichman? Great job, you've done everything we wanted today. Alvatari! What a race for Casper Ackerman, proving the naysayers wrong with an emphatic performance. He'll be delighted by that podium finish. Well, we all know he can do it, it's just been a while since he has. Great race from Ackerman and some much needed points for Alvatari. And look at this, they're coming out now. Alpha Tori have developed something of a reputation for forging exciting new talent. And we can see that here. Incredible victory. Well, Toro Rosso did. Alpha Tori hasn't really done anything yet. <laughs> With like, when it comes to drivers. UK is like the first one, first new driver to come Fans to the, the really team. Seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Thank you. A podium finish today, Casper. Here in front of your home crowd. How does it feel? It means the world to have this performance in front of my family. I'm very pleased. I still want to continue to prove myself and remain competitive out there. It's great to give the Dutch fans something to cheer about. To be honest, as well, my family is here today, my wife and my daughter, so. I'm delighted I was able to have a good race for them. Yeah. It means the world to have them here. I, I think I would have been miserable tonight if I didn't have a good race. <laughs> which wouldn't have been fun for anyone. So yeah, I'm really happy. And the fastest lap too today. Is that something you expected? I can't say we expected it, but it it's a welcome surprise. Every point counts. We did expect it. We had and we expect it from ourselves every single race. Not really. <laughs> it's realistically not something you think you're going to get too often, so no, I can't say we expected it. But it's certainly a welcome surprise. Every point counts, so come the end of the season we might be more grateful for it than we realize. How is everything at Alpha Tauri? Our spirits high, is the team happy? Yes, of course. We've had a bumpy start, but thankfully we've got a got a lot of races left. Things aren't 100% right now, we struggled a bit recently, but the focus is very much on turning things around. Yes, of course, we've had a bit of a bumpy start, yeah. but we're looking to rectify that, and thankfully we got a lot of races left, so we're looking forward to the season ahead. But the only thing you can ever really focus on is the next race, so that's what I'll be looking to do. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. I don't know why I always say that. Dutch Grand Prix. Casper Ackerman put on a victorious performance at the Dutch Grand Prix with the podium finish in front of the home crowd. In front of the home fans. <gasps> Cutscene! Hey, man. Great. Hey, Will! Thanks. Nice one, Casper. Devon. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. Jamie teammate couldn't bring himself to congratulate you. No. Well, he's just a kid. Kid is getting signed by Red Bull. What? what Never gonna happen. Oh? <laughs> you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're gonna have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. <laughs> yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. Yeah. I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had some very interesting things to say about Jackson. You know what his problem is, don't you? Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate. His words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. <laughs> See, he should respect you like I do. Great race out there today, buddy. 
Yeah? Ciao. He said the same thing to Jackson. He said, prove him wrong. He said those exact words to Jackson. Casper silences critics. We've all, we all knew it. It was a home race for Ackerman, but not many of us expected this. Casper Ackerman overcame the rest of the field, and I can't quite believe I'm writing this. To win the Dutch Grand Prix this weekend, reminding us all of what he's truly capable of. The timing couldn't have been better for the Dutchman. Who came under harsh criticism recently from fans and pundits alike and faced questions regarding how much longer he can remain competitive in the increasingly physical world of F1. Ackerman was surely keen to prune, prune, to prune himself today. What a phenomenal response we've seen. But if anyone was critical before, they surely can't be now. This will doubtless sound... Dallas silenced the critics for a long time to come. How many times have we written him off and how many times has he proven us wrong? Yeah. Nice. Congratulations, Casper. Nice to see the underdog. Zoe. Hey. Hey. Hey, Lily's dancing in the garage. It's hilarious. Can you come? Just catching up on a few things. Sure. Hey, I, I booked us a restaurant for tonight. Awesome. What about Lily? Your mother's happy to take care of her. Great, then I can't wait. Reason to celebrate, right? Yeah. Thanks, Zoe. See you later. Bye. Brian. What a result, Casper. Sorry I missed you. Aiden. Yeah? Casper, I missed you just now. What do you want? I just wanted to say congratulations for today. That was some race. I'm busy, Aiden. Oh, sure. Um, bye. That was cold? Really? Casper, come on. You just- uh, you can- just congratulating you. What the hell? Z uh, Casper, sorry I missed you after the race. I was chatting with Franz, who couldn't be happier, by the way. You got one hell of a driver on the team's over the moon. Beating Ver Verstappen in front of the home fans is no mean feat. See you at the debrief. Claire. Oh, Louis. 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 Claire Brody, question. I see you got asked again about the team atmosphere. It's good you remain positive. It's just... But just be careful. You're not too dismissive about the reality of the situation. Those answers can sometimes come across as insincere. You did a good job and a great race to do. But this will be it. I got. I need to watch uh, qualifying at Silverstone. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for another upload. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.